Hey everyone, this is Bob with 25 Plus Life and today we are in Holton, Maine. We are three and a half miles from the Canadian border and we are at the all new KOA Journey. Come along, we're going to go check this thing out. Well, can you believe this, Carrie? We are back. We are back to a live video. Well, almost live. By the time you guys see this, it'll be a couple of days have passed. But we're back in Maine. Bob. Yo. Bob. What? Who's that? Oh, no. I can't believe it. Holy crap. Is that, is that deep in the jungles? It's Aunt Janine. It's Aunt Janine. She's fishing in the pond at the KOA. And I think she's she had one too many. Little. She looks a little rough. But we are, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are, today we are very happy to be here <laughs> in Holton, Maine. As we said at the opener, we're about three and a half miles from the Canadian border and that's about as close to Canada as you and I are going to get at yeah. this moment. But uh, we happened to be uh, up here a few years ago as we were crossing the border and we stopped here and didn't think much of this area until we uh, happened to be this year with our KOA rewards. We're given a free night like everybody else for this weekend. So we decided where can we go that we haven't been before. So we looked the furthest north we could go, which was here in Maine, uh, right up by the border. And boy, this didn't uh, let us down at all. We're gonna walk you through here. This is formerly my brother's place. This has been a KOA for about a year now. Okay. Yeah, transitioned September of last year. So they have approximately 80 sites. This is a KOA journey. This is not like we typically stay at a KOA holiday. Those of you who are not familiar with the difference between a journey and a holiday, don't feel so bad because neither will we. We're gonna go down here. Typically when you come in, you go down here and register at the office. I am so impressed with this place and the grounds alone that I wanna cover some of this area first. So we're gonna walk you down here to the pond. The difference between a KOA journey yeah. And a KOA holiday okay. is a journey is basically for people like us that are traveling. We need to get off the road and kind of relax and have some have some fun. But we don't need all the amenities. We don't need a swimming pool. We don't need the buffet hall. The splash pads. The splash the... pads and stuff like that. <clears throat> this is pretty much a, this would be what you would call like a campground. Yeah. And a holiday has the pools, the splash pads. It's more of, what did they describe it as, like a home a little, base? A little type. more of a home base type yeah. setting. I will say though, from here, the road noise is the opening aside. Where we are, incredibly quiet. There's some nature trails. And I think I said at the beginning, 80 some odd sites, a little 82-ish or so. They do have long-term sites, a lot of camp, uh, campground tent sites. They got a little pond. This has been stocked with brook trout. So this right here is your pond. And it all is stocked with brook trout. They just stocked this uh, prior to this weekend, which is pretty interesting. It goes on for quite a ways. A couple of paddle boats here. And also all this lush greenery is all tent sites. It's not too bad. I gotta say, you know, we say this quite often when we go to certain KOAs that we're impressed. This one, hands down, if I haven't said it already, I'm going to say it again, is, is the best one. I don't well, think... KOAs have been really nice. Uh, I don't know how to put this. This one's been exceptional. This, this, they have been the most polite and the most welcoming. You can tell... That we've I'll, been to in a long time. I'll say this. You can tell the difference between an owner-run KOA mm -hmm. and a work camp KOA. Nothing against you guys that are doing work camping. I think you, for the most part you do a hell of a job. But the, the way everybody is treated here, and this is not, they have no idea who we are. Our channel isn't that big so that we don't have the followings that some do that, you know, of, of tens of thousands of people at this point. So that really they have no reason to be nice to us, but they were fantastic. And I'm not the most friendly person to talk to. So well, it's nice to see that yeah. they were just generally that they, way. They have a board when you check in of all the people, the last names is, you know, the Smith family, you know, welcome home. Yep. And it says Smith family, Jones family, and so on and so on. But it's just, it, they treat you like they've known you for a long time. You know, and I'll say to add to that, I, I'm going to throw in there that 
we've been to a few KOAs uh, that we were just randomly that we booked 15 minutes before we got there. You know, and the, one of the reasons that we use KOA is because of the app. And the app is so easy to navigate for us. We can just do it. We decide, hey, we're tired of driving. KOA on the road and, and boom, it, it's it's done. We've been to KOAs where we felt like we were an inconvenience. Yeah. Uh, we felt, you know, we were kind of rushed. None of them in a bad way that would, that would sway us from ever stopping at a KOA again. Because I gotta say, hands down, we've been to a few mom and pop campgrounds I'd never go back to. Just because they're not set up right or, or whatever reason was there. Not that there's not any good ones. I just prefer the format for of the KOA right, for our lifestyle. It works out really well. Oh, look at this. The grounds are impeccable. Just really, really well done. And they don't have to do this. This is a journey. This isn't a holiday. This isn't a KOA resort, which is next on our list. This is just a holiday. I mean, a uh, journey. But the grounds, and they take such pride in what they do. And you can see it. You can see it when they talk to people. You can see it when they interact with one another. It's a couple of married couples uh, that, that own this place. There's Michelle and David. And there's Marlene and David. So she gets Excellent the information. people. Talk about who's friendly and who's not, because I don't know the, what the names are. But just friendly, personable. They brought the campfire wood right to our site. In the pouring rain, they drove us to our site. Most KOAs, when we first started traveling, yeah, KOAs would drive you to your site. Mm -hmm. And most stopped that, with that we've been to anyway. We've seen a lot of that had just completely stopped with the COVID thing. Uh, and I think that started when we were in Virginia Beach. That kind of stopped yeah. at that point. But nope. No, no questions asked. Boom, they just took us out there and just a great job. So definitely, if you're in the area, you need a KOA, you need a campground, this is the way to go. Bring your kids, bring your dog, because I think you can bring your dog too, yeah. and have a good time. And there's so much to do around here. And I'll close on this. Okay. I've been married for 27 years, right? That sound about right? Wow. 26, 27 years. Going on 27. Going on 27. Close enough. Yeah, whatever. You know, <laughs> she's been with me forever. So the married part is, is routine Almost at this point. 30. In the 27 years of being married, and the seven past seven of those that we've been traveling, more so in the past three, right? Mm -hmm. I have never heard her once say how content she was in one particular spot as she's been here in Maine for the past couple of days. It's comfortable. And a lot of that has to do with this. So, and, and granted, our home life has been crazy. Mm -hmm. Our home base is under construction. <laughs> it's been under construction for what seems to be months, if not years. It's the lights literally. at the end of the tunnel, the trees are coming down, the stumps are being ground, the, the siding is up, the windows. Well, we'll get and those some sometime <laughs> this year. So life has been crazy, but this has been a nice step away from all that. It's a nice break. So here's this folks of the KOA actually get to see this. We thank you because it was truly a pleasure to be here. Yeah. And uh, we can't wait to come back. Probably be next year at this point mm -hmm. when we're able to cross the border. Mm -hmm. uh, talking to the new owners. Uh, and I gotta say, uh, it was pouring here. <laughs> when we got here yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, just poured for like 24, 36 hours straight. And these people were fantastic. So yeah, where we're at, we're up in number 24. We're gonna take you through there. But first, on the way in, we spied something I found to be rather peculiar. It was an onion growing in the middle of the field, just out of nowhere. So I sent the missus in, because we all know the missus is better at communicating than I am. So she got us permission to show you the inside of what they call the glamour tent. We're going to walk right over there. We're going to walk to the back end and we're going to show you inside. Now keep in mind, we don't know what this is. This could be a complete no. dud. It looks funny. It almost looks like a yurt. Mm -hmm. It looks like a big onion. <laughs> uh, but I thought it was pretty unique so I wanted to check this out. There's only one of them here that I've seen. Uh, but it's right across from the, what do you call that? The amenities where you can take a shower. The bathhouse. The, the bathhouse and, and the laundry room there. So. We're going to take a walk over there. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. All right. And as you can see, as we approach, 
the big bulb of onion. Uh, this is actually pretty unique. I see it has 30 amp service here. So I'm assuming, or 115, but uh, I'm you know assuming get in here. there's uh, some shenanigans going on here. We We're gonna definitely here. check this out. It looks like one of those smokers huts from uh, one of those strange far off lands. I think it's just like a tent. So we're gonna, we're gonna check this out. Oh, Look at this. Wow. Look at this. Now they did say they hadn't gone through and cleaned it yet. So you're, you're really seeing it in the rough. There's an Eden Pure heater here. It's also an alarm clock. So basically, it's glamping. You got the, uh, the bed where the magic happens. You got some AC, you got a fridge and a Keurig. That is so cute. This is pretty cool. I like have I said, never seen one of these before. They had said that they hadn't cleaned it yet, so they were kind of like, hey, you just, you know, enter at your own risk. This is really cute. If you want to uh, get in off the ground, yeah, not a bad little thing. All no. right, camera angle is a little weird, so we're going to step outside and we're going to continue. Well, as you can see, right over there, your bathhouse is there. Kind of give you an idea of what you're working with here. This is the laundry facilities here. A couple of washing machines, a couple of jars, tip that one there. Well, there's some plate. That one there, out of order, but they're sorry, so it's okay. We'll move over here. Yeah, boom, this Carrie. Right here. She's gonna take you into the women's room because I can't go in there. Shh, I have I've to wait a minute. Parts. I have to wait a minute and make oh, sure there's right. nobody in there. So she's gonna check. There's nobody in here because the light just came on, but she's gonna I can't go in. I have the wrong parts. So we'll wait for her. Give the okay, and I'll hand this over to her. Coast is clear. All right, go on in. Don't go in there. Shh. Very cool. Very clean. And they have one, two, three stalls and two showers. All right, so somewhere along the lines, I'm going to piece this into the video. After about a day of being here, we let them know at the uh, front desk that, hey, we got this tiny little YouTube channel and we'd like to do a little walking tour and video. Normally, we don't ever say it. We just do it. But they were so nice that I felt, hey, I'll say something and, and whatever. And uh, not only one did they say, hey, we think we've heard of you, which is kind of funny because, you know, we're small. But two, they said, hey, you give your honest review, good and bad. We want to hear it all. Unfortunately, I have nothing bad. I appreciate that, but I have nothing bad to say. Um, and normally I do. Oh, so this is does. pretty scary that I don't. But it just shows you, it's a testament to what they're able to do here. And they, they got to know that they're doing a good job. Their feedback has to be tremendous mm -hmm. in order for them to say, we want it all, the good, the bad, whatever. The only thing I'll say, the only thing I'll say that's bad is really nothing to do with them. It's we just, have to leave. It's, we have to leave. It's the area. I would love to stay here longer, but mm -hmm. I can't. Uh, we have to get to moving on. We have to hitch up in the morning. We got to start heading south. There's a casino with my name on it that I have to stop in. Yeah, I've got money. Just to burn a hole in my pocket. I've got that lots of gas to buy. That better be for your 5.30 ice cream reminder. My, uh, oh, that's, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. We're supposed <laughs> to go for ice cream tonight. <laughs> well, on that note, we're going to leave because we have to go get ice cream. <laughs> well, if you're uh, new to the channel, what we do is we travel the country. It's our Winnebago in tow. We stop at church sales, Goodwills, Salvation Armies, thrift stores, that kind of stuff. You get the gist. We buy stuff that we see is undervalued. We turn around and we sell that on eBay. We take the money from those earnings, we put it right back into our travels again. And we'd like to stop at KOAs along the way. We're not sponsored by KOA. We're not sponsored by VPNs. We're not sponsored by anybody. It's just nope. two people that have been married for a long time. They're sick of each other in the same box. So we hit the road, new scenery. This way here, and every once in a while, she tries to leave me behind. This is your typical site is it right now? here. This here is, uh, <laughs> there's a, uh, a, a mock grave here for a Halloween thing. It's uh, Van Winkle. So this here is, uh, just to give you a site tour of one of the sites. That's creepy. 
this is site 19 you have your water hookup sewer hookup and you have your electrical service hookup yeah <laughs> this one here would be a back in site and okay. i'll take you over to our site wi-fi throughout the park which is booming we're at the outer fringes of the park all the way in the back and we had full coverage uh, it was absolutely incredible for logging on to the work vpns mm -hmm. for logging into our youtube channels and also uh being able to stream netflix i never recommend streaming netflix on a uh on a publicly opened uh wi-fi network but for the sake of uh, speed tests and stuff we did and we were very impressed with what we've seen as far as here this is where our site is number 24. this is the uh micro mini that we like to tow behind it we didn't mention <laughs> site 24 this is the last site in the lineup so you're basically one of the best sites in the park uh hands down as you have no neighbors to this side and there is water, like a little swampy, marshy area from where we are. No deer, but no moose, no bears. There's no, yeah, we haven't seen any moose. But yeah, this is the front end of the rig over here. The other thing I didn't see was cable hookups. So quite frankly, if you have satellite, uh, which we do, we have dish network. The satellite is amazing because you're wide open here. This is one of the most satellite friendly parks that we've been to as well. So as you see, the dish tailgate on top of the RV. Overall, you got to be careful here because there is quite a bit of families here today. I don't want to walk up and down and start filming everybody, get everybody all nervous. Everybody. That's pretty much it for the review. If you're in the Holton main area on your way up to the Canadian border or on the way in from Canada to check out the U.S., need a break. We highly recommend the Holton KOA Canadian border journey it's a long title for, it is but it's beautiful for a place but i will say this in closing mars mills <laughs> maine which is about 13 miles that away you're going to run into a little food truck called the rusty crab <laughs> and hands down some of the best seafood that we've had in maine and let me tell you that's a pretty bold statement to make when you can say a food truck has the best seafood in maine but hands down, phenomenal. Like Definitely they worth are, they're out. closed Monday to go fishing. They're open Tuesday, depending on the depending catch on, on Monday. The catch, yes. And then Wednesday through Sunday, yep. their normal hours. I'll put a link in the video description below, and I'm also going to link to the Chinese restaurant because when we got here, it was pouring. <laughs> so the first night we were here, we had Chinese. Uh, it was a place called Tang's, which is about maybe seven minutes that away. Hands down, some of the best Chinese food that we've had in quite some time. Our favorite place is for Chinese food wow. is the China Dragon in yes. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. But I'm going to tell you right now, folks, I drive back up here in a heartbeat for, for a plate of tangs because <laughs> I was blown away by this food. Oh, so it was very good. That's it. We thank you for watching. Be sure to uh, leave a comment down below if you've been to this campground before, whether it was with uh, when it was my brother's place. Mm -hmm or now as it's part of the koa for the past year let us know what your feelings were because everything that we received here was top notch the owners are incredibly nice so we're very impressed mm -hmm. uh, it's something we don't typically typically see that personal level of service from a koa so it's nice to see it here your experience was different let us know below That's other than that we'll see you uh next time mm -hmm. i don't know there's something coming up something nice. going on <laughs> Stick around, make sure you subscribe. Another one.